As part of the teddy bear picnic festivities that are held in Town Center Park in Coquitlam, the city puts on a grand parade. It's an opportunity for many of the community groups that thrive here in the Tri-Cities to promote their organizations and to celebrate with those that come out to enjoy the event. Tri-Cities Community TV presents coverage of this year's parade with MC Tom McDonald. I'd like to thank the uh, Tri-Cities Community Television. Jeff, nice to see you, nice to see everybody on TV. TELUS is broadcasting this for the, on behalf of the Tri-Cities Community Television. Great to see you guys on TV and it's great to see everybody here on the street. What a beautiful, beautiful day we have here for the Teddy Bear Parade and the Teddy Bear Picnic. All right, so we've got the, we've got the parade coming up here. This is the White Spot Pipe Band and Highland Dancers. White Spot Pipe Band is the longest running youth pipe band of its kind in the Pacific Northwest. We are dedicated to the musical development of youth, so join up if you want to. The band also emphasizes the community commitment, personal growth, development, and preservation of the Scottish heritage. Come join them today. Here they are. White Spot Pipe Band. And Councillor Terry Towner. Good morning, everyone. Thank you all for being here today. And I want to express sincere gratitude to the organizers and volunteers that make this 30th anniversary parade happen today. Thank you very much. Enjoy. Thank you, Terry. That's our councillor in Coquitlam, one of our city councillors in Coquitlam. Great to see you again. Let's go check on Brent here. We're going to have a great time here today. We got Mr. Teddy with us today, having a great time. And everybody's going to have a great time in the sunshine. Enjoy. Enjoy the parade. Enjoy all the events. And thank you to all the volunteers and RMC for today. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Brent, very much. Have a great day. We'll see you soon. All right, we got Dennis, Councillor, City Councillor Dennis Marston. Good to see you, sir. So thanks, for everybody, for coming out, bringing your teddy bears. And make sure you check out the park and all the activities. Thanks for picking great weather here, Dennis. I appreciate it. Well, we passed a special bylaw just for tonight. <laughs> Craig Hodge, City Councilor. Good to see you, sir. Just so you know, I seconded the motion for the weather today. So I'm uh, glad we had a good day. Hope everybody comes out to the park, has a great time. Just want to mention that this year our bears have gone green. They're an electric vehicle, and this is something the city is working to encourage. So um, let's all uh, be environmentally friendly out there today. Be safe. Remember your sunscreen. It's going to be a hot one out there today. And everybody have lots of fun. And you've, and you've got the, uh, you took, uh, took the bubble feature along with the purchase. That's, that's the only thing coming out of the exhaust is bubbles. And by the way, 30,000 kilometers and all I bought is windshield fluid and bubbles. Hello, John. Good to see you. Hey, how's everybody doing today? Yeah, what a beautiful, beautiful day. I don't think I've seen so many teddies in one place. This is awesome. Thanks for bringing your teddies out. That's great. Is everybody having fun? And there's more fun after the parade in the picnic grounds. Thank you, everybody, for coming out. And thanks all the volunteers and the organizers. This is quite a show. Congratulations. It's great. It's great. It's a great show. Thanks for coming out and visiting. Our pleasure. All right, we have our NDP representative in the federal government, Finn. Good to see you, sir. Thank you very much, Tom. It's great to be here, everyone. This is my last teddy bear parade as your member of parliament, but it's been re a real honor to serve. Thank you all for coming out. I hope you enjoy the teddy bear picnic and the parade. And uh, thank you to the city of Coquitlam for putting on such a fantastic parade. I'd like to hand it over to Councillor Benita Zarillo is also here. Thank you very much, Finn, and welcome everybody today. I saw some amazing teddy bears today. Everybody, please, just hold up your teddy bear if you have one. So hold I up your teddy bears if you got one. Woo! That's awesome. Woo Thank you to all the moms, dads, grandparents, family members, and kids that came out with their teddy bears today. Thank you. Thank you so much. Hey, and a big round of applause for Finn Donnelly. It's his last year serving. Give him a big round of applause, everybody. That's great. 
Thank you, Finn. Good job. Good job up there in Ottawa. Sir's here. Wonderful. Good to see you, Selena. Minister. Great, great to see you here today, Tom. It's great to see everybody here. I want you all to join me in wishing Bear a very happy birthday. He's 30 years old. Wow. And I think he's so excited about being here one more time. And he's just so happy to see all your shining, smiling faces. Glad that the weather's held off. And I want to thank all the organizers, Tom. They've done an outstanding job to do every year. Ron McKinnon here. Ron, it's good to see you. Thanks, Tom. It's great to be here, and I'd, I'd like to thank all of the organizers of this parade, all of the volunteers that made such a, a great, uh, great event, and I'm, I'm delighted to be here, and uh, I'm looking forward to talking to uh, many people as they come by my booth later on. Thank you. Here we go. We got the mayor. We've got the mayor of Anmore, John McEwen, here. Good to see you, Mayor. Mayor of Anmore, John McEwen, everyone. Thanks for inviting me, and what a wonderful day to be here. Wonderful, beautiful. How's it up in Anmore? How's the weather up there? Seems to be pretty good this weekend. We haven't had any uh, any wild events to talk about, so. But uh, yeah, no, it's good. It's quite an honor to be uh, representing the village down here, and uh, what a wonderful day. Mayor uh, Belcara, Neil Belinky, how you doing, sir? Very well, thank you very much. My whole family here, uh, here and I. The whole family. We want to thank you so much for having us here today. Quillam is an absolutely wonderful place for a parade. Wouldn't be here anywhere else. We aspire to have parades like this in Belcara someday. Bring your teddy bears to Belcare anytime. Thank you, Neil. All right, let's go look at some floats coming by here. This is Coquitlam Festival Coquitlam's float. Beautiful. Festival Coquitlam's very proud to present their float that demonstrates the festivals and activities that take place in the city. Large picnic basket emphasizes the teddy bear picnic, which is held every year in June. We have Jackie. Yes, here's Jackie. This is our organizer, guys. If everything you're enjoying today is because of the young lady right in this car here. Hi, everybody. Hope everybody's having a great time. Um, this is probably my sixth year of being in charge of the parade, but I've been working on it for 16 years. So I hope you're enjoying yourself. We'll see everybody at the picnic afterwards. Thank you so much, Jackie. Everybody give her a nice round of applause for putting this on for us. A fair amount of work. Thank you, thank you, Jackie. See you later. All right, do we have, uh, who's coming up next here? Here comes Huckleberry Bear, laugh, smile, learn and play. Huckleberry Bear, hope you have fun today. Come visit Huckleberry Bear at the Coquitlam Environmental Services tent just over here to learn more about the local wildlife and play some fun games with Huckleberry Bear. City of Coquitlam in bloom. Here we go, hello. So, let me read a little bit about you guys. This is the Coquitlam Park's fifth year in the Grand Parade. We brought out our vehicles, tractors, staff, and volunteers to celebrate our outdoor spaces and teddy bear picnic. Come find us at the picnic so you can take a seat at the tractor. How are you today? Fantastic. What's going on? And you guys, I know you, Cities of Bloom, have won some big, big awards in the past. Yes, and this is our effort. That you can see that this is a, a array of our equipment that we use to maintain parks every day, driven by staff who are working hard to make your parks beautiful. But they bling them out. The first group is the is six tractors that normally mow the grass, but uh, today they're they're dressed up as bees, celebrating our pollinator themes. Behind that, you'll find a tractor that's. Uh, a shark. And at the very end, we have an engineering uh, representation. We've got we're driving a big back truck that's, if you look at it from behind, you can see it's decorated as an elephant with the big sucky thing that's the trunk. Got gotcha. ears. <laughs> that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Have fun, you guys. Thanks for coming out. Thanks for everything you do. City of Coquitlam in bloom, everybody. Here they are. All right, so we've got the 5th in Coquitlam Scout Group coming up here next. My boys were in it. It was fantastic. It was a great leadership experience for them. We go camping and learn a lot of skills. Serving the Tri-City community for over 25 years, the 15th Coquitlam Scout Group is dedicated to providing opportunities for youth ages 5 to 25 to explore the outdoor, the focus on leadership training and team building skills. The 15th Coquitlam Scout Group and Kung Fu Group. This is Ewan's Family Martial Arts, teaching life skills with martial arts. Family oriented school focused on being your best. Create a winning attitude in the positive environment. Helping students in Coquitlam since 1986, starting from four years old and older. How's Club Aviva? Club Aviva is the best place to come for gymnastics. I'm telling you, look at these girls. And they are amazing. Every age, every ability, you name it. We've got a place. We also do birthday parties. We have 
um, drop-ins, we have summer camp, so if you want to register for summer camp, please do so because we fill up fast. This amazing facility, and we uh, thank you for Quitlam for everything, all your support for so many years. Vivian Symington, the Moms Club of Eva, has been part of the Festival of Quitlam for 30 years. Thank you all so much. Yeah, you've been here a long time, ever since my kids were growing up as well. You guys have been here forever. Yeah. <laughs> Love of is a, well, they pretty much said it, so I don't have to read it because he said it all right there. Good job. All right, so this is the Buddha Light International Association. Hello from Buddha Light International Association. In the integration of multiculturalism, we advocate three acts of goodness. Do good deeds, speak good words, think good thoughts. Marching with us are the mascots of three acts of goodness. Don't forget to grab a lovely tiny teddy bear and take home with you today. There you go. The Buddha Light International Association. Is it more now, six one? Who wants a toy? Who wants a teddy bear? Here comes one. Good shot. 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 And next up we have the Wise Academy, a leading, leading Chinese school dedicated to providing top quality Mandarin Chinese language training to children, youth, adults, business, and organization in Kokonan. Wise Academy. Hello. How are you guys? Next up, the Federal Liberal Portugal Cutlum. Oh, how's it going? Good, how are you? So you the Liberal candidate for this for Port Moody, Coquitlam. So Ron McKinnon is the current member of parliament for Coquitlam Park, Coquitlam. I'm running to be the member of parliament in Port Moody, Coquitlam. So for the Liberal Party, we share the tri city Awesome, awesome. So this is your first run at it? It's my first run. Exciting. And yes. yeah, this is your little girl? It's my little girl. Wow. Oh, yes. The next politician after you, maybe. That's right. Canada's Thank next prime minister right here, maybe. <laughs> That's great to see you. Thank you so Good much. Good luck. Best of luck. Thank you very much. Enjoy the day, guys. All right, Sarah, she's running for federal MP position here. So good luck to you and, and, and God bless. Thank you so much. Okay, take care, Sarah. The Willow Minor Football this year just celebrated their 40th anniversary season in 2018. More than 100 youth athletes faced 5 to 18 participate in the dance clubs, cheerleading, and football programs. CF, uh, CMFA is a nonprofit organization completely run by volunteer coaches, staff, board, and directors. Sathya Sai Baba organization, Walk for Values. Today's Walk for Values contingent is formed by members of the BC region, Sathai Sai International Organization. This walk is part of the global effort to create awareness around positive effect of practicing basic human values, like love, peace, truth, right conduct, non-violence in our daily lives. All right. All right, so the nurse next door, award-winning local health care company dedicated to providing responsive, hot quality and caring companionship, home support, and medical aid to seniors and others at home. Nurse next door care for assisted living in your home. Hello. So who's the little one here beside you? What's your name? This is Belle. Belle, hi Belle. How old are you? Five. You're five as well. And let me guess, you're from Canada. Yes. <laughs> Everybody, all the little kids we asked today, they're, well, almost all of them are from Canada. <laughs> that was the Port Coquitlam Legion Pipe Band. The Port Coquitlam Legion Pipe Band was formed more than 40 years ago. The Pipe members enjoy attending numerous community events and parades throughout the year. Right after my heritage, Scottish heritage, uh, McDonald. Love to hear those bagpipes. Probably one of the only here. How you doing, Nicholas? I'm well, we're having a great day. It's a beautiful afternoon in Coquitlam. I'm your conservative candidate for Coquitlam for Coquitlam. Our team's out today at Hard at Work. Tell them folks about Andrew Shears' positive vision for Canada. Really great meeting lots of people today. Thank you. All right, give him a big round of applause. He's running for federal MP office. It takes a lot of dedication and hard work. Nine. 
Tri City Speed Watch. <laughs> Part of the uh, Coquitlam Mark CMP program that allows for, for for education and vehicle speed reduction in our communities. We've been around for about 25 years in the community. We do the tri cities and make people aware of when they're going too fast. Well, that's fantastic. Yeah, we need speed reduction for sure. The Tri City Speed Watch, the High Creek Watershed Society, against uh, spans Port Coquitlam and Coquitlam. Thousands of salmon eggs are hatched in our creeks every winter season. Thanks for all the great community volunteers who helped keep our creeks unpolluted and safe. Help us augment salmon populations with our hatchery programs. Nice to see you. Thank you. So one of the one of the big moments we used to take our kids up to see the salmon run. What did that happen? Well, you need to come by about October Closer. into November, and the salmon are coming back. They're returning to where where they were born. Yes. So they do this miraculous trip from maybe Alaska all the way back to Little High Creek. From Alaska all the way to Little High Creek yes. here, back they, back home basically. Back home, they come back to where they were born. That's marvelous. And when is this going to be again? And when? This will be October, November of 2019. So October, November, take your kids out to see the salmon hatchery one because it's amazing. amazing. The return of the salmon. And November 17th is the salmon festival for Port Coquitlam. November 17th is a salmon festival. So if you think of it, put that down, guys. Hello. What are we doing here? But tell us a little bit about you. Um, I am a princess. I am Princess Aurora, Sleeping Beauty, and I have so many wonderful princess friends and superheroes, and we love to do parties. We come to parties, we sing to parties, and we're just here to say hello to everyone, and it's an absolute pleasure to be here. I know Marshall's really excited to see all of you as well. Do you guys all want to give Marshall a nice hello? A nice big wave to Marshall? Hello, Marshall! No. Marshall's super excited to be here. Okay, the Mathnasium Tri Cities, your community math learning center, right here in the Red Jeep. Today they're lucky to get a visit from Ace, the Mathnasium mascot, also two of our best math bears, Alfie and Matthew, are sitting in the back of the car. Mathnasium students are walking alongside and passing out wristbands and A plus goodies. Everyone is welcome to math games every Tuesday every Thursday at 1 p.m. at Mathnasium. Check them out. All right, the Mulatto Dance Elite is coming up. Mulatto Dance Elite. Well, you've got some cheering for them. I love that. Uh, they're located in the Coast Meridian Road just off Kingsway in Port Coquitlam. They have been a part of the Tri-City community for 20 years, offering a variety of high-quality classes to all ages and abilities. They are now accepting registration for their summer camps and fall programs. Check out their website, mulattodanceelite.ca, or give them a call. Dance so we have the Coquitlam Express Junior A Hockey Group here. I think we got Ryan here. Let's uh, say hi to him. How are you today, sir? I'm doing real good. How are you doing, Tom? I'm good. I'm good. How's the team? How'd the team do last year? They did well last year. They I lost in the first round of Prince George, so they're the only team to beat Prince George in the entire playoffs. So we were pretty happy with that. I'll say. I know Canada loves hockey, of course, but it's hard. I mean, it's a lot. It's a lot of fun. But it's a lot of work as well, especially if you want to make it to the, you know, any, any level where it's professional hockey. It's, it's not easy, but it can be done. Yeah, it's real grind for the guys that meet all the time in the gym, on the ice, and then they're coming out doing community events just like this. So uh, we make sure that we uh, keep them busy and keep them out of trouble. We have the Coquitlam Public Library coming up. Visit the Coquitlam Public Library mobile library link. Meet our friendly staff and check out the latest services as the hottest best sellers. Ebooks, streaming videos and more. Reality at our Innovation Hub open houses. Stop by two of the branch locations or let us come to you. Coquitlam Public Library. Good to see you guys. Not just books. Hang on for a sec. We've got going on. We've got ebooks. We've got streaming video. Check out your favorite movies and uh, TV episodes on Hoopla and uh, come in and try out our virtual reality and our innovation hub. Find out how virtual reality works. 
join our summer reading club this summer. We have prizes, prizes, prizes for the uh, Children's Summer Reading Club. We're going to be giving away two brand new telescopes and two Sphero robots. That's awesome. Reading is so important and that's amazing. You guys, thanks for promoting that. Take care, you guys. Go put in the public library. All right. I just want to tell all the kids here, eat your breakfast or you're going to look like our friend here. Fire in the hole. <laughs> a proud Shriner fraternity of the Brotherhood based on fun fellowship and Masonic principles actively promoting the world's greatest philanthropy, Shriner's Hospital for Children. Welcome you guys. Thanks for all the good work you do. Yeah, it's good to see you. Coquitlam Search and Rescue. Coquitlam Search and Rescue with their command vehicle truck and rescue boat. This team of volunteers averages over 35 missions a year. 35 missions a year. Look at that rig. That's amazing. All right, let's check out the Zodiac down here. This looks like a fun ride. If you were to say that it was the most important thing to do when you're going on a trip where you're going to be in the wilderness or at risk for getting lost or trapped, what's the number one thing you should remember before you go out? So the most important thing is actually to tell somewhere where you're going. So um, if you don't come back, then someone comes to look for you. And that someone will probably be us. Well, thank you for the good things you guys do. It's really awesome. Thank you very much. So that's the search and rescue for, for Coquitlam. Let's hope you guys don't have to use them. But thank you for your services for doing everything you do. That's just awesome. Okay, our Coquitlam Moody Ringette Association. Woo! Ringette's a sport played on the ice rink. I've seen you guys practicing and playing before we go out and play. And uh, you guys are awesome with that stick. I don't know how you do it. Anybody want to say hi? Hi, my name's Susan. I'm with the uh, Coquitlam Moody Ringette. And we are the fastest game on ice. Woo! Go Bears! And uh, here's a demonstration of what it is. So we play with a ring and sticks. And uh, no skating is required if you want to come out and try ring it. And it takes a lot of skill, but it, you learn from the beginning. Beginners are welcome for sure. For sure. And we have the girl guides and sparks out here. That's, that's great. Here they are. Sparks have just completed their first year in the Girl Guides, and this is the first time marching in this parade. Wonderful, welcome. It's great to have you guys here. Girl Guides of Canada, everything she wants to be. Anybody want to say hi? Anybody want to talk a little bit? My first year guiding, it's been an amazing, fun time. Right? It is great, it is great. It's all volunteer, everything you guys do is volunteer. Absolutely, yeah. Support the kids. Absolutely, and registration is open right now if anybody wants to join at all levels. Great news. Okay, thank you very much. Stop. Thank you, Nancy. All right, the Evergreen Cultural Center coming up next. I'm gonna get pillow. Help! Where are the kids when I really need them? Hey, I thought you said this was a non-contact sport. <laughs> wow, I just got pillowed, just big time. All right, let's talk about these guys. No sleep for the creative. Just join the slumber party at the Evergreen Cultural Center. We've got everything from painting, to plays and pajamas are optional. Visit our website at the evergreenculturalcenter.ca. It's the Evergreen Cultural Center, guys. You're gonna get lost. You're, you guys are way up there. Let's go. Run, run, run. All right, so we have the Falun Dafa Association of Vancouver here. The Falun. Gong is an ancient form of mind-body practice originating from China and now popular in over 100 countries worldwide. It improves mental and physical health through gentle exercises based on the principles of truth, no, truthfulness, compassion, and tolerance. We have a marching band here. Let's listen.
All Canadian. Here we go, Miss All Canadian. Natural pageant, but all ages and genders, no experience needed. Participating is a great way to build your confidence, practice public speaking skills, and volunteer in the community. Contestants are not judged by their appearance or by their clothes, but by their unique personalities. Hello. Hey. Hi, kids. DDA Development Disabilities Association here. This is the Developmental Disabilities Association and they're expanding in the community awareness of clothing, book donations, as well as bottle cycling programs. Have you got stuff you don't want? Recycle it with DDA. There are three ways to donate. The bins for cloth items like you see all the time all over the place. They do pickup as well for dishes, toys, books, etc. or drop off at the donation stations. Call for details. The De Developmental Disabilities Association is a community living agency that supports over 1,600 individuals and families each year with their 50 community-based programs and services to children, adults, and families with developmental disabilities. They're a great, uh, we've been donating to them for years and years. They're a great part of the community here. All right, so we have the, par the People's Party PPC. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Well, I just uh, graduated the, from SFU, the Party School of Business. Yes. Um, but the reason I joined this party is that uh, it's for freedom, fairness, uh, respect, and responsibility. I'm running for the Porto Quit Luka Quitlam Riding. Awesome. The Golden Maple Cultural and Arts Association is a nonprofit organization which held a large scale Chinese New Year Gala in 2017, 2018, and 2019. This association provides many interesting classes for our neighborhood, including Chinese traditional dance. Bodybuilding, ballet, model lessons for kids, singing, performance, etc. The Golden Maple Cultural Center. Hello. Wow, some great, great dresses there. All right, we're getting close to the end. We have Coquitlam towing here. All right, Coquitlam Towing has my car. I don't know why I parked it last, parked it a couple hours ago, and here it is on the brake here, so that's not so good. Serving the Tri-Cities for over 50 years for all your towing needs. We don't want an arm and leg, just your toes. Ha, 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 that's pretty funny. Coquitlam Towing. And coming up in the rear is the Coquitlam Fire and Rescue. Any of you girls or boys want to be a fireman when you go up? There you go. <laughs> hey, good to see you. Did you want to become a fireman when you were young? I did, yes. Ever since you were a kid, you wanted to be a fireman? Ever since was a And you made it. Dreamed Here you are. I finally made it. Yeah, I'm <laughs> super happy. What's the best part of being a fireman? A Just firefighter, help. I guess, it probably is the right word. Helping the community and getting the old people out here right now on the street. It's Helping great. out the people around, yeah, when they're in need. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Well, it's great what you guys are doing. Thank you so much. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you so much for hanging out for the parade. My name is Tom McDonald. Thank you so much, Ellis, for uh, helping us out with this uh, local community television event. And we'll see you next year.